Hi, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now I'm just going to show you how um, you can jazz up this little jar here. Now this was just a coffee jar and I'm just going to cover it now in some chalk paint. Now my chalk paint has actually started to thicken up. Um, I've got this one here that I'm using. I've also got some American Decor chalky finish paint but that's gone quite thick too. Um, this one should just be okay. I should just be able to get away with it. So I'm going to go over the jar and you can use any size jar that you want. Um, it doesn't have to be a coffee jar, but um, for what I need it for, uh, this is kind of the right size. So um, just go all the way around that. <laughs> Okay, now once once you've finished painting it, leave it to dry and you might have to give it an extra coat. Um, and once you've done that, um, come back to me and we'll see where we're going to go from now. So this is painted and it's all dried and I've just put over a layer of Mod Podge just to seal it a little bit on the top. Now I'm going to cover um, the vase, which it is now turned into, um, and I'm going to use some lace trimmings. So I have some lace here. Now this lace is quite wide, but I want something wide because I want it to cover most of the actual jar itself. Now don't forget this was a coffee jar, so you can use anything else, but I wanted quite a tall one. Um, so I'm going to use a strip of that, and also I'm going to use this hessian and lace type trim as well so I've just cut them both to size drop the lace trim now to pick it up um, and what I'm going to do now is get the glue gun and stick it to the back but I will stick a little bit to the front first so I'm just just checking and measuring where I want it so I'm going to stick a little bit there under that flower sorry you couldn't see that a little bit there and let it fall naturally where it wants to go pop a little bit there and a little bit underneath that flower and that will just hold the front part in in place there and that looks really nice that's coming together really really lovely so I'm going to do the same again on this side a bit on the thicker flowers so you can't see it so I might just move it up a touch and then turn it round and stick those on and then we'll just stick these there and these down that way pat it on sorry I went out of shot then like that and there we go so that's the back part and that's the bit we won't see so that's the first layer and now what we're going to do is to get the hessian now I've measured this around and this is going to go around the middle I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue down there because that was sticking out a little bit I'll just check there's no more stray bits so that again will go through the middle so I'll put measure it up put a dab of glue there and stick that straight in the middle there I'm just going to reload my glue gun bear with me a sec okay we're reloaded now I'm just going to pop some more glue on here and pull it round to the middle do the same thing on the other side now you can build this up and layer and layer things um, and make it quite elaborate so you don't you know have to stop there at all um, I mean you can put things like maybe a flower on the side on the middle smaller flowers you can do like a little arrangement as well now for the top 
um, I'm going to use a similar lace to the, um, the other project at the back here, if you can see. But this one's um, a thinner sort of lacy trim. So I'll just go around, measure that, just snip it, snip it there. Make sure I get the front and the back. I'll just position where it's going to go. So it'll perhaps sit in there. So the beads will sit in that groove. Just lay that down a sec. You get the middle there, pop it in and go round. So all the seams are at the back. Glue. And if you've got too much, just trim the extra beads off. You're better to have too much than not enough because you can always just trim it up and, and throw it away. So that's that. Right, there we are. There's the vase. And all I've done is popped this little bouquet of flowers. And these came, sorry about the shadow, these came from the range. So they're a nice bouquet there. And um, I've just popped them in too the old coffee jar and that's it a great upcycle project and something that's really really easy and simple to do but looks really effective now these would make wonderful wedding flowers as well you could maybe do it on a smaller scale or do some small ones on each table so um, i hope you enjoy having a go giving it a go yourself thanks for watching and um, give it the thumbs up if you like it and i'll see you again soon bye for now